Handling payments on the web is always a difficult thing, and over time, different solutions have been available, but all of them usually require a lot of setting up and a lot of security risks and implementations. Now, recently we have something called the Payment Request API, and what this is intended to do is eliminate checkout forms. We're gonna be implementing this inside of our applications today. So let's make a new directory and we'll call that web payments. And I'm gonna cd into that. I'm also going to make a app.js and at the same time we will make an index.html. We'll open this up inside of Visual Studio Code as well as Google Chrome. So inside of our index.html, I'll make a new HTML file and we'll simply call this payment requests. We'll give this a h1 just so we aren't looking at a blank screen of also payment requests, like so. We'll add a script with the source of app.js and that will be our application.js file. And if we head over to app.js, we should be able to start implementing this API. So our journey starts by saying if a window dot payment request that's essentially determining if it exists on the user's browser. Else, if not, you want to fall back to your other implementation. Now it's really important that you do this because if you are going to use this API, then you do need to check to see whether it's currently supported on the person's device. And if it's not supported, you wanna fall back to a traditional checkout methods. So then we have to start by creating a payment request object. And for that, we need to determine some supported payment methods. So let's make a constant of supported payment methods. And that can simply be a new array with one object with the supported methods of at this moment in time basic dash card. This will allow us to take a basic card, so a Visa, a MasterCard, anything like that. But in the future, and I do recommend you check the documentation for this, you could also add things like Android Pay, so it's not necessarily stuck to simply cards. You can have your own payment provider. So we've defined some supported payment methods. We then need to define the payment details, and this is the cost and the currency. So if we had a constant for payment details, I'm going to make a new object and we will have a total. And at this point we can also define something like a label. So we'd have a total cost. And then for our amount, we can specify a currency such as GBP and the actual amount. So value, if we had 30, we could also create then any custom options. So if we had an options, and that would be simply equal to a blank plain JavaScript object at this point, because I don't want any custom options. And the final thing to do, or one of the final things, is to then create the request itself. And that can be done by saying const payment request, and we want to pass through a new, or rather create a new payment request. And then as the parameters, we want a supported payment method, the payment details, and any further options. Now that we have access to this payment request object, we can say payment request dot show. So anytime we're creating this new payment request, it doesn't appear on screen. This means we can use it throughout our application with dot show. So once we save this and refresh our page, providing I spell request properly, if we then refresh this once again, we then at this point have your payment, the total cost of 30 pound GBP, which we could click here for extra details in our order summary if we wanted to. 
We have a payment method, which we can then select choose and create a new payment method if we wanted to. And then we'd also have the ability to then pay. If we wanted to capture any details from the person, we could chain a dot then onto the end of our show and subsequently log out the response. The same goes for a dot catch if there are any errors. So at this point inside of your then call, you'd be able to process the payment however you want. So you now have all the information from the user in a standardized fashion, which you can then do as you please. So that's how we use the payment request API. And I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know what other content you want me to cover inside of the comment section below. And until next time, my name is Paul and I'll see you soon in that next video.